Hello there people, this here is the Wolf Enduro Vest and if you wondered why I look like a special forces dude riding on my bike it's because of this vest of course and in this video I will tell you all about why I got it and the whole deal with the vest so stay tuned We're spending most our lives as an When you go out on a trip, you have your gear in the back, but then you need a place to get, have your small things, the valuables, the, the documents and camera equipment or batteries and things like that. So the first go-to thing is always that the tank bag, the classic tank bag. And I got this for the Tenere and I put it on the tank and it's like a steamboat chimney. Uh, for me, it gets in the way when riding in fun places. So, but it's very, very convenient where you arrive at a border crossing or something and you need to have your little office there in front of you. So besides being bulky and in the way, I think it's quite tedious when I had to refill the fuel and yeah, take it off and then on again and strap the straps. And also if I want to go into the shop, this is where I keep some quite expensive stuff like cameras and all the... Uh, important documents like uh, passports and, and bike documents and things like that. So I would bring this with me if I leave the bike for sure. So I skipped the tank bag, so I bring a backpack instead. That's great, but now I have my documents and camera stuff in the back. So every time I need to get to it, I have to take the, the backpack off and I have to get off the bike and everything. And sometimes at border crossings, I would turn it around and put it on my, on my front side so I can have stuff here and then turn it back. So what I need is something, I could have it in, on my back, just a few things that I don't need to reach. I want my water bladder, and then I want easy access to some of the most important stuff uh, that I get too often and so on. So, I was watching YouTube and scrolling through uh, the results on luggage and I came across these uh, enduro videos and they had these vests on. So I then found the Wolf Enduro website and they had this enduro vest and I bought it and yeah, so this is my review of that. I'll show you how it works. So what we have here basically is the vest in itself, it's a sort of a carrying system where you have the shoulder straps, which are really wide and uh, really nice to, to load off the weight. But you also have this waist band, which is really stretchy. And um, you don't, when you wear this, you don't really feel where the weight um, is taken up. It's sort of spread out and you don't really notice uh, how much you load it. So, and it's covered with this molly web, which is the, I guess, military standard for attaching whatever um, to backpacks and, and vests and everything. So you can go out to any site on the internet and just get things to, to uh, add on to this vest. So when you buy it, you get three bags on it, uh, two in the front and I added this one, this is for my mobile phone. I got that from a site on the, uh, like that. And also you have this, the same size of, of bag in, in the back. And they are uh, attached with molly webs. You can move them around if you want. A molly web here, and then we have a pouch in the back. So let's take a look at uh, the bags. They open like this and I keep it, my, uh, in this bag I have a rag for lenses and goggles, I have earplugs, I have a small power bank for charging intercom or mobile phone, a pair of glasses, things like that. And in the other bag I keep, yeah, you can have some snacks, I have a Leatherman pressure meter, um, of course some uh, Nomad stickers. So. There's 
there's room for a lot more and I usually when um, when I'm out and riding I usually have uh, the GoPro batteries and everything here and cables and whatnot. I also like uh, the hidden stuff because here also you have a velcro pouch where you can have some yeah cards and and yeah some more secret stuff in the back it's a bit bigger actually this this bag so uh, uh, you have you have these uh, straps for for tools that you can bring with you I have my tools separately on the bike uh, at the moment so um, I, I change a bit and you also have a small pocket here that where you can have some more stuff so you can have use it as a, a little tool tool bag but also I usually have some if I have a sandwich and something to drink and or whatever I can have it here um, and the molly straps I have these uh, giant loop straps if I need to attach something here in the back trail stand a little like that so taking it on we have two buckles here one buckle here like so and it's really really snug to the body it's uh, not like a, a backpack that is jumping around you can do combat rolls in this so it's if you're going really actively and and so on it's it's uh, you don't notice that you're wearing it i have quick access to my phone bring it up and i added this myself yeah so if i want to get access to anything i have it here here and i can also attach the cable from here to the to the help to the helmet if I need to charge it and in the back I don't really need to access this so easily so I get this if I take it off yeah so there's uh, still room and, and molly web here on the sides to to add more stuff and also here perhaps a satellite um, beacon SOS thing um, something like that it's really also easily adjustable because um the big buckles the straps here i set them generally if i need to make it wider these are the really stretchy things here that uh, yeah makes it snug so uh, i can adjust that wider out if i so if i have a jacket and some layers underneath uh, i can adjust it like that if it's hot uh, and I wear less clothes, I can just make it smaller like that. And it will stretch from here. Really nice. So I've been using this for a while now. And it's um, among the three things here. The tank bag and the backpack and this. Uh, this is the closest to the optimal solution for me. Uh, I just put it on and I know I have everything all the yeah organized little bits that I want to bring with me and it's really comfy this waistband here is quite big and it sits a little bit higher up it's almost like a granny's bra but uh, it needs to be up here because it, it doesn't prevent movement from from the knees so um, that's quite optimal so the other downsides uh, there are possible downsides that I have uh, yet to try out. Um, one thing is this big waistband if we go in really hot places like 35 plus up to 40 degrees. Um, how will this affect ventilation? Um, I could always make this uh, looser and yeah, I'm, I will have to try that. So I will bring it on the next long hot trip that we do and uh, that's not so far away also possible downside um, on a motorbike in heavy rain this is where all the water gathers and this is not waterproof um, making this waterproof would make it a bit more uh, rigid 
But since it's a molly system, there are waterproof bags out there that you could add to have the stuff in that you want to water protect. What I do is I have uh, Ziploc bags for what I need to keep dry, like batteries and, and the documents and, and so on, and make sure that I have them in a small, small waterproof um, bag inside it. So uh, it's, it, it is water protected with, yeah, impregnated and, and whatever. Uh, but in heavy rainfall, of course, it will take in moisture at least. Downside for me, uh, or perhaps Europeans, this is sold only from the web shop, as from what I know, uh, in the US. So I bought it not the cheapest thing but I was really curious and it looked really good so I bought it but then I also got got the, the customs added on top of that so I just closed my eyes and paid and threw the receipts away so now I'm, I'm happy with the product but um, yeah I hope they find a way to have some uh, European distribution or something like that so it's not a sponsored video, but if I find something that uh, I, I like, I'd like to tell you about it and I get to make a video and, and the, the whole evening is saved. So fun for me. Yeah, so now I showed you my granny bra and I uh, <laughs> uh, hope you liked that. So stay tuned. I hope the next video will be some awesome riding somewhere in Sweden. It will be next time for sure. Yeah, see you around. Bye-bye.